Hi guys, welcome back to RS Car Culture. In this video, we'll be going through some of the mixing that we'll be using in our Bioflock shrimp farming system. As you can see, there are different ways to aerate and mix your Bioflock system. And in this video, I'll be going in details on how to achieve this because this Bioflock system is actually very crucial to ensure that you have a consistent and very productive Bioflock. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on shrimp farming and muckrack farming either using RAS systems or bioflock systems. So this is actually very important for those who like to get the weekly notification. So do remember to like and subscribe so you get the latest uh, information on these two new technologies. So we'll be looking at our the first tank so the first tank is actually being mixed and being aerated with actually only a root blower you can see that using the fine bubble aeration and this tank is only about six by three meters uh, wide so as you can see over here and it's very close to sunlight so it's quite well mixed and being the fact that it's close to sunlight in the morning it generates a lot of oxygen bubbles that you see over here so that's actually quite important for improving oxygen content for the second tank, you can clearly see that once we reduce the amount of aeration frame in the tank, you can see that the mixing is not so adequate and there's only one aeration frame in this picture because this has already harvested the shrimp and so we are just turning this tank around for the next batch of shrimp. So clearly, typically these tanks need about 3 aeration at least to have adequate mixing. So here's the third tank that you see over here. It actually uses uh, 3 and more aeration frame actually there's five aeration frames here so you can see two on the side on the left one the center and two on the side so this is to ensure that we have quite even mixing as you can see over here there are typically not a lot of dead zone in these tanks and these tanks actually very highly populated with amount of shrimp as we're about, about to harvest them soon in about two to three weeks so this is the current size now about 10 grams uh, per shrimp so about to harvest them soon and these are our older tanks, so probably you are quite familiar with this. And for our new HDP tanks, you know, for those who have been following our channel, you've probably seen that we have actually constructed this earlier this year. So the first tank is actually is about 50 meter cubes, and we have actually harvested two cycles uh, from this tank already. Um, so it's actually being turned off while we wait to restock again at the end of this month. So we're going to the third cycle, and it's only in uh, August. We started this tank probably in February or March. So the last two tanks that you see in front here, they're actually being mixed and aerated slightly differently. So this is the fifth tank that you see coming on to you now. So it actually uses a combination of both aeration frames and also what we call a paddle wheel. So we actually modify this paddle wheel to do not have so much splash out. So as you can see over here, it rotates the water in a slight gentle manner. And once the solid tends to accumulate in the bottom side, we actually use aeration frame or what we call fine bubble diffusers to lift up the solid as you see over here. All right. So here's another view on uh, the the, how the aeration and mixing is actually moving is actually very gentle uh, we have actually cultured at least two batch and the results are actually quite good along with this size of tanks and even the filtration systems are custom made for this size and they usually have not a lot of issues uh, with this setup so this is actually quite happy with this and the last thing you see over there is actually running into paddle wheels. So for this tank, you know, this is from what it looks like from the ground level. You can see water is all the way up to close to one meter. And the currents are actually quite strong if you're looking directly from the paddle wheel. Uh, you can see from the paddle wheel is actually becoming all coated with algae because we've been running continuously for about two cycles. Um, and we managed to do quite a good crop last two crops no issues with diseases and good growth and we are going to harvest we already started harvesting this for our uh, some of our clients and this is our last tank so we actually just run this last thing and restock them with shrimp right so this actually uses two pedal wheels and there are actually some aeration frames in the middle all of these blowers actually being powered by a five horsepower blower because we realized there were some settlements in the middle so this is actually quite important to ensure that we do not have a lot of settling inside the pond which do not as a result might go into anaerobic conditions uh, so this is quite important we are still testing it out and see so here's the current status of the shrimp is still very small about 1.6 grams uh, after three weeks 
so it's not too fast uh, but it's not too slow either uh, but one of the important concern is we are worried of probably the current is a bit too strong as you see over here and because it causes too much dispersion on the flock uh, not so much on the water problems on water quality but we are a bit worried on the shrimps so that's all for this video hopefully you learned something new about how do we mix our tanks especially at a larger scale and we do hope to see you back again at rs for culture so do like and subscribe